Good evening YouTube fans and welcome to the Whiplash Hell channel and it's another 7 Days to Die Undead Legacy episode. Uh, this will be episode 11 and a half. Um, I don't have any real plans. We need to figure out a roof idea. But to be honest with you, I think I'm going to sneak down to the bottom there and start tunneling. So, see, I want to repair this just to see how much that takes. We've got 20 iron, so let's hit repair. Took nine. Okay, I was just curious. Don't need that in there. We'll take and combine those one day when we get a freaking wrench. I wonder how many. Okay, that's food. Okay, we got three more of those. Let's see what. That's what I want. A med kit. See, we need grain alcohol, blood bag, which we have, uh, bandage, and duct tape to make those. So, bandage, duct tape, and grain alcohol. Duct tape. Bandage. Grain alcohol. So we've got five grain alcohol. Let's see what it takes to make a bandage. Okay, okay. I don't even know if we can make it. We probably can't make it. I don't remember seeing the recipe. Let's see if we can make it. No, and it's made at the chem station, which we don't have. I couldn't remember. Never hurts to look. Hopefully we'll find some more. Alrighty. Let's make another shovel. And then we are going to go down to the bottom. Hopefully not attract too much attention here. Got to figure out where I'm going to make this tunnel. So we make it on the back side. Probably be wise since the front side's so open. Hope you party animals are ready for this. Um, usually, I think I've said this before, but I usually I build a, my crafting room at the bottom of the game. Come on, get down in there. No. There we go, finally. I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, usually I build my crafting room at the bottom of the game because when you start leaving your forge running all the time the screen attracts the screamers and of course you know that uh, that's not good because then you start getting hordes and at night and whatever else well this time I'm not this time
time I am not going to build my crafting room at the bottom of the game. What I'm going to do is make a tunnel just so I can mine at night when, you know, I need resources. So, uh, that's why I'm doing this. Let's make 10 ladders. Oops. Oh, hell, that takes rope too. So we need to make rope first. Let's make 10 rope. Now we'll make some ladders. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah anyway see I I've noticed a lot especially when I go back and watch my videos I get sidetracked I start something and then I never finish it because I'm, I start start uh, doing something else or I'm thinking of something else and I'm, you know what I'm saying probably not probably think I'm an idiot anyway I, I'm sorry I just get sidetracked and uh not necessarily that I forget what I'm doing it's just that I lose my train of thought really anyway I used to build my crafting room at the bottom of the game uh, simply so I wouldn't attract screamers and I wouldn't be fighting zombies left and right at night time this time I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to make myself a little bit of a challenge here. So, that's what I'm doing. This is just going to be for collecting resources, more or less. I'll build a tunnel to the bottom of the game, and then I'll just keep tunneling. Um... I'll just keep tunneling to uh, get resources because we're going to get a lot of rock out of this. Plus, I can sit here while I'm doing this because it's pretty repetitive once you get used to it. Um, I can sit here and think about that roof. I was thinking about actually making a roof, trying to make a real roof instead of squaring it off, making it easy. The only thing about doing this is that you get more rock than anything. I mean, you, you still get iron, you occasionally get lead. Okay, that's sand. But really, this is for cement. I mean, that's my, my main reason. It's going to be a while before we even get to make cement. Uh, because the, the progression is so slow in this game. I mean, I ain't even got a workbench yet. That's probably more my fault than anything. But uh, you know what? We ought to see what it takes to make a wrench. See, look, we're getting a nighttime horde. I need to get up there. Shit. Shit, folks. They're going to get in. Okay. Okay, now maybe we can get up here. Oh, what am I doing? Maybe we can go out here and kill them. Where are you guys at? 
They at the back door. Where are they at? Little stinkers. Come on. Where are you at? Oh, there's one. What's up, Stevie? Where are you going? Did they get in? Stay still, brother. Oh, for Pete's sakes. I hear him. I should have put one more right there. <laughs> this is funny. This is so funny. Well, this is why I built this. I'm glad I built this last night. Oh, he hobbles along, but by God, when he sees me, he's ready to go. Come here, yo. Quit being all squirrely. Come on. Man, this is crazy. Ah, oh, man. Oh, say, how many freaking arrows have I put in him? At least four. Is that it? No way. It just seems like there have been more than that. Oh, uh, I need to learn not to panic. It's hard, especially when you're in a situation. Alright, I guess we'll try again, folks. I could have swore there was like two at least. Probably ought to make ten more ladders just in case that happens again because I only got two left. Yeah, because they could easily get in. Let's make uh, ten more rope and then we're going to make ten more ladders. So we got plenty of resin, so nine, okay. Hang on a minute. Now we should be able to do it. Alright. Anyway, the whole purpose of this... I never... I don't even know if I finished my train of thought. Just get resources for cement. Okay, I think I did say that. I have no specific plans. We're going to go to the bottom of the game. And then I I believe I'm just going to make a tunnel to the city. In case I want to make a night run. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's look. See, we usually go over here to this city. And then there's one in this direction. Here's the trader, which we know that's 
where he's at, and then there's another city in this direction. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably just make a tunnel towards the city over here, maybe to this point, coming in the corner. Uh, I don't think we're not going to get to the bottom of the game before uh, episode 12 starts anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. If I had a pickaxe and could hold some stamina, we might be able to, but I can't hold any stamina and we don't have a pickaxe. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to look up wrench to see what it takes to make it. I know we have to make it at the workbench. So I, I'm going to see what it takes to make a wrench and maybe we can make a couple wrenches. I know we need mechanical parts. We have 12 mechanical parts, I believe. I don't remember what it takes to make a wrench. We'll look here in just a minute. We're almost out of stamina. Oh, let's just go ahead and go now. All right, let's see here. Ooh, let's see. We got an iron wrench, which takes 30 forged iron, iron rebar. How the hell we make? Oh, man. You need gears for that? Wow. And I've been scrapping all that stuff I've been finding. I guess we're going to need to stop. We need gears. See, you don't need that. See, we could make, uh, to get an iron wrench, we can make, we, we could get, go ahead and make, uh, we need 30 um, forged iron and one iron rebar. Let's see what that takes. Iron rebar. And that is made where? Crafted at the smithing table, okay. And it takes one iron ingot. Wow, there's just, there's just so much to this game, man. Being that it's two something, maybe we ought to just go ahead and go up there and make that. Yeah, I think we will. Yep. I think we will see how much stone do we have oh we got a thousand stone let's put that away because that'll drive me nuts I I couldn't tell where I was going when I was running up this earlier when the zombies were here I couldn't tell I was struggling to see where I was going. Okay, I think we have some of this. Iron rebar. There's one thing about it. It didn't take mechanical parts. See, in vanilla, it takes mechanical parts. Iron rebar. See, we've got iron rebar. I don't think we have any gears. We've got forged iron. I wouldn't even know where I would put them. Yeah, see folks, we don't, we need gears. Let's see if we can make gears. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Probably not, I'm just guessing. This is right here. It takes forged steel, yeah, we can't even make, we can't even make steel yet. And it's done at the smithing table. We need a blacksmith level 9 to even make it. Oh man. I guess I'm going to stop scrapping all them little tools and, and stuff that I've been finding. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop scrapping it. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, that's just ridiculous. You can't even make a wrench. Can't find a wrench. It doesn't matter, I suppose. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and eat something. Shoot, we need food or meat anyway. That's it for the meat. I don't know, we have any meat in here? 
Yeah, we do. We'll go ahead and cook that up. You know what I think I've decided I'm going to do with these? I'm going to keep these murky water to use for cooking, like for the duct tape and stuff. Because some, some of the items we make, you need... Uh, You need, um, what do you call it, murky water. So I think I'm going to use these bottles for murky water. I still don't understand the purpose of that other than looking like a, a real plastic bottle. It makes no sense because when you try to drink from it, it looks like one of the glass jars, you know, normal jars. So... Okay, we're good on food. Let's drink some water. We'll go ahead and cook that meat. I usually do cook that meat to... get it out of the way a lot of times I'll leave it in here actually I ought to keep some of that in here to upgrade that I think we're good now Put that in there. Scrap that. Alright, I guess we're good. I hear some freaking zombies. Alright, they're done. It's going to take me a while to get used to this crafting. I've never made it this far in this mod so far I mean I've never made it this far at all <clears throat> let's pick that up and move it where we want to wake up next to the window sounds good that looks good Yeah, that way I can... I'm putting a workbench right there, I believe. It takes up two spots, and that's three. So I can put the workbench here. Maybe leave enough room for another table right there. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the roof. I was thinking about using... Uh, See building wood pole wood pole centered. I was thinking about taking uh, some of these wooden poles. Oh, thank God it doesn't need resin. And like making a support beam from here all the way across, and then have another from here all the way across to the to this side, and then make. The other support, the angle, the 45 degree angle support beams up and make a real roof. But I don't know if I want to spend the time doing that because getting resources for future cement is a must since we can't get a workbench. I can't even make make one yet it's uh, wrenches because I don't have no gears so I guess that's something we could take to the trader I'm gonna set myself up for the trader real quick I'm gonna take this in case we need to buy something see if he has any gears maybe we can buy the gears uh, and we needed 
this and forged iron. Let me make sure and and tape, right? Duct tape. That's kind of weird that you need duct tape, but let me make sure we got everything. Yeah, maybe he'll have gears. Uh, okay, iron rebar. Oh, that's steel rebar. Got the wrong one. Glad I checked that. Iron rebar, there we go. Okay. Iron wrench, okay, we need forged iron. Forged iron. Iron rebar, iron rebar. Gears, hopefully hope we can buy. And then duct tape. Okay. Now, we're set up to go buy some. We go. We have to go to the trader anyway to make the smith table or carpenter's table. Alright, folks. This ends the nightlife. This ends episode 11 and a half. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, big hugs and smiles. To everyone, and uh, God bless.